What's up everyone? This is the Destroyer229. Welcome back to Let's Play Pokemon Coliseum. Last time we stopped Mirabee's plan and saved Pyrite from Cypher. In this episode we're going to continue on in our quest. Now here we have Fatine who's in charge of the fortune telling. Who's pretty much useless before this and afterwards. But she's important right now. Hmm. Seems like she could detect shadow Pokemon as well. But not quite as... Well, as obvious as Rui. The key to freeing shadow Pokemon. So there's a way we can revert them back to normal. We can actually save them. A gate village, huh? And a famous trainer. Hmm, really? Why aren't you a Pokemon trainer then? Oh well. But, to a gate village we go then. Perhaps there is a connection between that and Shadow Pokemon. So we have a new place we can go to! Hooray! So welcome to a gate village, a retirement community in the Ore region. In other words, it's Florida! Now there's a few things we can do here, so I'm just going to give a brief tour. There's a lot of houses here, which they aren't, some of them aren't really useful, but over here there's a cave. Now what is in this cave? Stuff. Like two Ultra Balls and a Silk Scarf. Now, Silk Scarf c increases the power of normal type moves of one Pokemon. And I'm actually going to give this to Espeon. So that way, Espeon's Swift and Return will be just a little bit more powerful. And every bit helps. So, continuing our tour of a gate village, there are a few senior citizens, there's a Pokemart. Here's where Rui's grandparents live. We'll be going there at the end of this tour, but there's something behind this. Now, if you're deciding to train Plusle for your party, you want this item very much. Because, it's an XP share. XP shares gives your Pokemon a, a slice of the XP from a battle even if it didn't participate. I skipped this in my last playthrough and I suffered the consequences of it greatly. Plus it was very much under-leveled. Uh, right there, that's the daycare center. They'll only take one Pokemon, so you can't breed there. And here we have an old man who will give us berries. This is the only way you can get berries in this game. You have to leave a gate and come back and talk to him. And he'll give you a free berry. And there's no place to plant them either, so... I'm kind of stuck with him. And over here we have a Pokemon Center. And an entrance to a cave with a guy in the way. Celebi. So Celebi can come here? That's interesting. Ah, But I want to see Celebi! Oh well. Well, that concludes this tour of a gate village. That's really the main points of interest. So, I guess we're going to see Rui's grandparents now. Let's see the folks! Oh, nothing. I was just busy saving the world. Yeah, there's this thing with Pokemon and darkness and evil dudes and things. Dramatic music cue, go!
Dang, you, you, you can run. Dang, you can run! Well, already lost him. So, we don't really have a choice. We have to follow them to the Relic Forest. Which is where we were banned from entering mere moments ago. A cipher agent? What? Why is there a cipher agent? I mean, we beat Mirror B. We stopped him. Who could have sent you? I don't understand. Why is Cypher here? Why are they in a gate? Oh well, we've made it here. Egoon! Stop! You don't know what you're doing! The most powerful trainer. So that means... Egoon was a champion. Or even a Pokemon master. Is a Conrad, his very first Pokemon. Pikachu! Ah. Uh, uh, I'm so sad that I can't get a Pikachu in this game. It's my favorite Pokemon ever since I was five. Well, oh well. We just get to sit back and watch this battle unfold. Egoon's out of use little Pokemon. Egoon whited out. Game over. You alright, Egoon? You too, Pikachu. Are you okay? Mm. So, Scrub challenges us to a battle. He's gonna send out a Geodude and his Hitmontop. We've seen is his shadow Pokemon. Now, when I said that we see nothing but stronger shadow Pokemon, this seems kind of soon. I mean, we just beat Mirror B, and it was a 35 Sudowoodo, our toughest shadow Pokemon yet. This hit on top even harder to catch, and it's level 38. So I'm gonna. I don't care if it Psychic has the advantage. I'm going to use it. And it just does a little under half damage. So, uh, focus and crap. I did a playthrough of this before I started recording, and yes, and that was very bad. He did a triple kick on me. Two of them critical. Yeah. Okay, really close. I should probably try to catch it soon. It's way too close for comfort to catch. Alright, but his next Pokemon! A Clam Pearl! Triple Kick! Uh. Well, that wasn't too bad. That still wasn't too bad. Wow, none of them critical! I'm surprised. Um, yeah, go ahead, attack Clam Pearl. Espeon, use Reflect. I could use any source of defense that I can. And... Okay, that was a pretty good hit. We'll kick again. <laughs> okay. Ah, uh, no. Uh, there goes Umbreon. Dang it. 
Okay, uh, Quilava, you go out there. I could really use... You could really use your accuracy-lowing powers. Yay, two flinches. Go Umbreon. Uh, uh, go ahead and attack Clam Pearl, Espeon. Alright! Two down! Alright, his last Pokemon is a Why Not. Uh, eh, that wasn't much. That has me more frightened. Uh, did a lot. Okay, one smoke screen's not gonna do all that much, though. It sucks, is that Quilava's slower than Hitmontop, so that's gonna make things harder. Um, let's use Return, because why not it's a Psychic type, so Confusion's not gonna do much. And neither will return, apparently. Great. Oh crap! No, 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 no. Oh god. Oh crap. Oh. Oh my god. It's like one. One hit point. Holy crap. Oh boy, that is like the lowest it could possibly be. Uh, Flaffy, Thunder Wave, Hitmontop, Espeon, let's catch this thing. I am taking no chances. I am using an Ultra Ball. Oh, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. I caught it, so that just leaves his wine on it. Okay, why not paralyzed? So, easy enough battle. And actually, Mischievous can take this out easy, so let's go ahead. What? Ah. Well, we're gonna have to do this the long way then. Just have to just slowly chip its hit points. Oh, I think that was slightly better than return. I just slightly chip away at its hit points. Laffy, you just use Thundershock. Help out. And... Ah, oh, sweet! Paralyzed again! And Reflect War off. Oh well, it served its purpose. Let's go ahead and just do the same thing over again. Don't fix what isn't broken. Okay, Flaffy, you should be able to finish that. If not, I will be very much disappointed in you. Good. I am not disappointed in you, Flappy. Well, we did it. We beat Scrub. Instructions. Capture Selby. Destroy the Relic Stone! What? Why would you do that? Dakin. Are you alright, Pikachu? Alright. Good. Yeah, that's the power of Shadow Pokemon for you. There has to be a connection. There would be no way Cypher wouldn't go after Celebi or the Relic Stone if it didn't have anything to do with their Shadow Pokemon plan. There's some connection. But you don't know anything else? Ah, That was the whole reason we came here. Well, except telling you that Rui was safe. Okay, well, there might be something. Tch. So, our adventure continues. Cypher has interests in Celebi and the Relic Stone. 
So, we have to see the Selenor. To see w if there's anything that could connect Celebi with the Shadow Pokemon. We have to find out before Cypher captures Celebi. But, I think I'm going to call it a video right here. So, next time on Let's Play Pokemon Coliseum, we're going to see Selenor. Until then.